Welcome oh, to man. welcome to this ASMR section. <laughs> My name oh, is so I have to turn Jeffrey Nixon. Audio down. <laughs> I'm actually turning it down by two decibels. <laughs> okay, wow, now we should so now we should start. Now we should start. <laughs> we we are starting. We've already started. I I pressed the record button. <laughs> She's here, folks. You means okay. Welcome like everybody the L and to the mostly news-free podcast She's where we shit on the news for about forty-five minutes to an hour. I'm Ben. Uh, everybody else introduce yourselves. First names. My, uh, <laughs> hey, my name is, uh, Jeff. Alright. My name's Jeff. My name's Jeff. <laughs> Hi, my... Jeff. Hi. Hi, Jeff. Alright. You, you guys I'm have to Jeff. introduce yourselves, too. I mean... There are two other people in this Discord, that's correct. Uh, hi. Uh, I'm Gabby. That, that's about it. <laughs> Hi, uh, Gabby. Hi, Gabby. Uh, Hi, Gabby. <sighs> this sounds like a therapy group. <laughs> That's well, what it welcome is. To, welcome to Alcohol's, Alcoholics Anonymous. Anonymous. I can't talk, apparently. Yeah. And finally, today we have the wonderful Mr. Hi, I'm, I'm Isaac. You're building, you're building up me up like way, way up there, dude. Uh, <laughs> I'm not it great. doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Um, yet yeah, last time, last week, uh, we started with a random article that seemed stupid that we pulled off. Or not stupid. Well, it actually it did seem it stupid, and then it turned into a rather tragic story. Um, but we are going to pull up this about time. The duck boat one? We are going to start with Fox News. Fox News this time, and then we're going to branch out. Let's see. Um, something that might trigger people. Taco Bell. Here's the headline. Before we look at the article details, Taco Bell bans some California employees from leaving during meal breaks. Taco Bell bans some California employees from leaving during lunch breaks. Initial thoughts. Uh -huh. Initial thoughts. Initial thoughts. I mean, if it's during like the lunch hours, I don't i mean i see how it's a problem because like you don't want to have taco bell every day <laughs> of your life but i could understand why because like that's like the critical hours and it could be it gets packed sometimes but i mean technically if they're on break that's like us being able to leave during our lunch and we're not allowed to do that Oh, well, that's a it's that's a, a safety thing. thing. That's a, a safety yeah. title. We've been <laughs> it's a clickbait like a, title. It's a, cool it's a clickbait title. Oh, those are the best. what happened is what happened was, uh, Hold on. the customers. Uh, the decision is that they they ban if they use their employee discount to buy food at Taco Bell, they can't take that food off site Indeed. and eat it. Uh... That makes sense. So if they buy a discount meal, they have to eat it in the restaurant. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Okay. Uh, so, I thought. So <laughs> we if get, you had we... to choose from, so if if you had to choose from eating your meal, uh, <laughs> get, getting a discounted. Okay. So let let's say. Okay. So I know for a fact that right now you can get nacho fries for one thirty eight. Uh, so it, so if you theoretically you worked at Taco Bell for some reason, uh, and and you decide you're gonna use your employee discount to get some nacho fries, you would then be prevented from walking out the door and eating those nacho fries. I couldn't like eat it outside and like right in front of the door. I mean, you could probably do that, but <laughs> but like, but that would just you know. It would just kind of be like spiting in face of policy, like, oh, but I that's, can't that's, eat these yeah. out off the premises, can I? Walks two feet away from the premises. See, I'm going <laughs> to enjoy my nacho fries right here. You know what? I like this part of the sidewalk better than any any table inside Taco Bell. I like how it says Taco Bell banned some California employees. Not all. Not all of them. Just some of them, okay? <laughs> 
just see, only some. <laughs> Taco Bell, Taco Bell. Uh, in this instance, I, I believe they are a more conservative company. So obviously, since they since these are Californian employees, we can follow the meme logic that all of them are liberal. And so they're like, you know yeah. what really grinds on anybody's gears in this nation? Taking away their freedoms to do things. So it's like, they decided, it's not going to be anything big. But specifically, if they use a discount and buy our food, they can't leave. Perfect marketing strategy. <laughs> Extreme trap. See? Like, just perfect marketing strategy. Mm -hmm. It forces more people to eat it. inside your restaurant. <laughs> And so in, instead of walking into Taco Bell and seeing the homeless guy in the corner and potentially somebody else waking off in a different corner and then, like <laughs> one, one family eating food at the only good booth that's remaining, you'll walk in and you'll see the one homeless guy in the corner, the one dude wanking off in a different corner, or the one family eating at, at a booth and one employee eating their discounted nacho fries. We're actually going to do some top tier research. Uh, Taco Bell employee discount. Yeah, like how much are they getting off? Is it like. What, what is the employee discount at Taco Bell? Let's yeah, take a look. It, here we are. This is like Taco discounted Bell. a ton. Like... Taco Bell employee discounts. Um, and also, how come Taco Bell has employee discounts, but Home Depot doesn't? <laughs> I thought, wait, they did not? Was there not Home Depot? To... Nope. I actually asked because I was oh, curious. Okay. I so really now, now I'm reading, <laughs> I'm seeing some other uh, articles, uh, descriptions, and it, it turns out they wanted to do this so that they could prevent people from buying food at a discounted price and then, like, passing it to their family members at home <laughs> or, like, or, like, their friends at home. So. I mean, that's actually mm. pretty smart. Yeah. yeah. Like a business tactic, technically. Okay, here, here. I, I found it uh, at this Glassdoor site. So, uh, this is dated to July 23rd. So, that's six days ago, somebody, a manager wrote in saying, The meal is free under $10. And for employees, it's 50% off before or after a shift. Or on the 30-minute meal break for working over six hours. That, god dang. So... I mean, that's not bad. And, yeah, and then another stuff. manager says that they give away their free meal to employees that work even longer. So I mean, yeah, so it's probably, it's probably dependent on the manager. So, but... so if you get a 50% discount, let's let's do some quick maths. So 138, quick maths. One, 138 divided by 2. So, so if you were an employee at Taco Bell and you're like, fuck, man, I really want to pass some nacho fries to my man outside you would be like i'm gonna use this discount i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get some 69 cent nacho fries <laughs> and pass it to my guy outside so we can smuggle him out of here just like imagine just a dark future where this band was like like extended like you could never leave the taco bell once you were employed until you were fired and like Wait. the only people that could eat at the Taco Bell were like dignitaries and employees and so wait like... hold on okay there's an easy hack to the... okay what if the guy you're buying food for just comes into the Taco Bell and you still buy the food for him yeah 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 no 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 but, but imagine him. imagine this fake this fake news for a second where we're just like only only important people which since it's a Taco Bell that would only be like a mayor or like <laughs> some guy like a postmaster general some guy down the down the road you know right and, and they're the only ones allowed inside the taco bell besides uh employees and the employees are only allowed to eat their taco bell inside taco bell and so like you you just have like you just have like a smuggler hiding by the dumpsters and then you just have like the the employee just like kind of sneak 69 cents into the register get some nacho fries and just like <laughs> take the trash out what, and be like yo what i got the goods it's like what is this million dollar taco bell is this taco bell actually <laughs> use a class meat 
Does are you this serious? <laughs> I mean, Does, are, are, are we talking about like a million dollar taco? No, this taco is a bleak right now. future. No, this is a bleak future where everything. This is a bleak crap. future. Uh, and this like is Taco like Bell dystopian. is the top. Is is like top tier fast food quality. Rick, do they still use D class meat? Yeah, of course, because that's the best. Because D class meat is now A class meat. Right? It's because the only meat. Such, it's the only meat. There's probably no. some like rat meat. Someone's gonna there. write a book about that. I think half the world would die because I mean, everyone yeah. would be having diarrhea. I mean, yeah, just like all the time. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but, plumbers like... would get paid a hundred. Oh yeah, year. you. That's that's where the industry would go. Yeah. Yeah. Switch to a nobody wants plumber. to have a doctor anymore. It's plumbers like, and laxatives. <laughs> plumbers and laxatives. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Although I do want to bring up, I do want to bring up the fact that um, it's so beautiful that. That uh, half off of nacho fries are exactly sixty nine cents. That's. I think that's really great. <laughs> is that with taxes? That is with tax. That is with Damn. tax. I I remember the price somehow. Just like I'm almost entirely certain that with tax, a patty milk combo meal, normal fries, normal drink, will cost will set you back eight eighty seven in the state of Texas, in Katy. I don't know how taxes work, so I'm specifying location. And, and I some mean, person in like Louisiana will be like, wait, but it costs eight eighty five for me. Haha, <laughs> you could <pedants. laughs> It's because it's state. It's because of our state and I will have the big sad because they get two cents cheaper on their patty melt meals. Oh yeah, the state income tax, the most I I don't want to get political, but the probably really bad thing. <laughs> oh but, yeah. You know what? That that's that is our uh-huh. that is our Fox News story of the day. Um We'll move on. We'll move on. The state see. income tax. No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> to... More on the story, kids. What is it? Well, you know what? You know what we should do? Let's go to, let's go to Breitbart News. Breitbart News Network. It's it's B- it, it's BNN. It's it's the letter before CNN. All right, it's BNN. Okay. <laughs> so wow. Is there an ANN? Is there I would not doubt it. Let's, let's actually look ANN. Is, is that like Australian oh news network? Anime news network. No. <laughs> uh, Official <laughs> website. Hold up. Okay. Okay. So now we pull up some. Now we have to pull up the news. Ben's interested now. <laughs> okay. Let's see. There are so many things here that I want to look at, and we don't have enough time. For instance, there is. Um, uh, Digimon gets new film project with original anime staff, age characters. Wait, 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 wait. Digimon. Is there anything about Yuri on Ice? Is there any I Yuri totally Ice? don't Let's... have an obsession with them. Oh, I don't know what you're talking God. About. Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking I've about. I've heard rumors. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, I don't, I don't Wait, think wasn't so. there supposed to be a movie? Yeah, that's what I'm looking out for. I think oh, it's... Yo, There's supposed to be a Minecraft movie, movie but that yeah, hasn't gotten announced yet. There was supposed to be a Five Nights at Freddy's movie, too. I'm disappointed. Side. Are you... This isn't even a political side anymore. This is anime side. We've gone off the grid. <laughs> We've gone and off the grid. <laughs> July 1st, 2018, Yuri on Ice anime film reveals staff, title, 2019 date, and an updated visual. Huh. Y'all. Teaser and ritual. <laughs> Guess who's going? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> let's see. Um, what's the, what's the date? I Wait, look up the Boku no Hero. Sorry. Oh, oh. Yeah, I, I, I just want to get I, like I've been drawing a monster eye this entire time because I actually finally got my tablet to work and I'm happy. Oh, nice. So, so hey, like, you should like animate for these things. Right. Oh, oh, and a, and a quick aside, <laughs> uh, all the links to all of the articles that we look at. Will be in the description below since since this is going to be uploaded as a youtube video since youtube lets me upload unlimited things and soundcloud does not which gives me the big sad the big sad, the big That's sad. you just don't get paid for it yet the express you gotta get you gotta get a thousand thousand subs and then a hundred thousand hours oh is it a hundred thousand hours or ten thousand hours oh, is that when i have to pay for it on youtube that's when you get paid for it, yeah. Oh, when I get paid for oh. it? No, when I have to pay for space. Oh, no, you, you just, I don't think you, I don't right. think you pay for space. I need, okay, for, on, on, on YouTube, I need 10,000 subscribers and, like, a bunch of hours watched. 
before I could put ads on. And even then, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't even be worth it because like five people would watch it and I'd get like ten cents. And then I'd split <laughs> it with all of you and we'd all have like two more cents in our pockets. Okay, you gotta okay. reach. I'll buy ramen at the end of the week to get me through college. Yeah, man. Nice. To be honest, no, that's okay, that's well, probably. Um, let's let's see. We are now going away from the weird anime world that we just entered. We are now on Breitbart News. Um, let's see. There's also actually, quick aside. I did not know this, but they have a Breitbart Jerusalem. They have a Breitbart Jerusalem section. What? <laughs> There's an entire section of Breitbart Excuse devoted to news from Jerusalem. I mean, hey man, that's pretty. I mean, represent. some people, yeah. some people want to know that kind Dude, of there's stuff. A, there's Breitbart, Texas. That's where we're getting our headline from. There is a oh, Breitbart page specifically for our state. So let's take a look at the first that. thing that I see, and it is Texas should rename its capital city, says Confederate Monument Report. Why? Well, um, I I don't know, but I will. I'll put this link in the disc, and you can follow along with me. Let's let's read some of this. The report issued by Austin's Equity Office says that the capital city should be renamed because of Stephen F. Austin's ties to slavery. Oh, oh, it's an article <clears throat> inciting. It's an article inciting the peoples against those darn liberals trying to take down all of our Confederate monuments. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Or or. Or changing their names because of uh, because of better ties. Okay, but he did other things besides. I mean, yeah. I'm not saying that the Confederacy is a good thing. But... It also called for the renaming of streets such as Littlefield Street, Tom Green Street, Sneed Cove, Reagan Hill Drive, Dixie Drive, Confederate Avenue, and Plantation Road. That's not gonna pass. <laughs> We live in Texas. Um, yeah. Well. And so. And so. I mean, I guess you're gonna try getting my view, huh? I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I don't think anybody could actually. I, I think the easiest way to remove any sort of association with any of these things, history, terrible histories, is to just let people completely forget about this and be like, yeah, that's just Dixie Drive. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. It's just a fucking street. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it matter to me. That's true. It it was it was really interesting because Dixie because we we played uh in band we played it was like some like Dixie Dix, um, Dix, Dixie Tales songs and like oh yeah 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 I remember that there were actually some parents that got mad I was like why are you, these are just, these why are, are you mad just it's a good it. song. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. like, I don't know. It's just all these things are staying with our, you know, all of these past things are staying with us being little shits in the past and doing fucking stupid things. And so, and so now we're trying to make up for it by changing things. But, but like, I don't, I don't get why it's like, there's so much association with it when it, it's in the past. It's like, it's yeah. not... It's not that it's not happening now because their slavery slave trade is still up and running. <laughs> okay, exactly. Yeah. yeah, sex slaves. Uh, yeah. But, but see here now in today's world, the slave trade is universal. You can be white, black, Asian, Mexican, European. It doesn't matter. You can still be captured by an asshole, drugs, and then forced to suck dick for the rest of your life. Which I mean, sucks. you're not wrong. <laughs> but. And, but on, on the topic of this form of slavery, the one that gets literally everybody triggered, uh, at least in the United States, if you if you try to ask somebody what a confederate was, and let's let's call it the UK, and be like, hey, so you, you know what a confederate is? It's like, oh yeah, like a, a collaborator in something, a confederate, right? I'm like, uh, wait. <laughs> uh, but like. There's that thing about Confederate heroes and stuff, and in the end, it's just people are either triggered about slavery history, or they're triggered because they like they really did idol these people for, honestly, how pretty fucking cool they were, 
Like Robert E. Lee, that man was. You say what you want about him, but he was a military. He was a military mind, my guy. He really was. I mean, which is why, like, <laughs> which is why I, I was like, I, I'm, ang- I'm not angry necessarily for them removing the statues. I'm more angry that they're defiling them because yeah, they honestly they should now? be in like museums and stuff. No man, you yeah, gotta, you gotta save history. the history. Yeah, exactly. Like you gotta save Honestly, the history. That's that's another part of this. Um, like uh, I would just leave these names here, so that people can learn about the history and then say, "Hey, that was pretty fucking stupid." Yeah. Okay. Don't um forget about history. Don't don't vandalize history. Take like realize I had to I had it. to give what is it? I <laughs> had to give my parents yesterday a um a lecture in the car because we were driving we were driving back from austin and they're like hey we never learned about texas history can you tell us about it which which resulted in me giving like a 10 minute very quick lecture on texan history and uh, that was that was interesting because when you hear it through like my mouth it, it just gets completely removed of of a lot of bias that I see in other th- in, in like other documents like you know like when when you're reading through like some history that's like clearly trying to influence you towards one side or another and mm-hmm. it's just like yeah and then there is that Mexican war where we basically just told Mexico to fuck off and took their land dude everyone forgets about that mm-hmm. that was like three years long I think it was from <laughs> No, it was two years. Like, it was honestly from that that war was such a fucking curb stomp. I'm not even. I'm not even lying. We literally just put some U.S. troops next to the Rio Grande, shot at some people, and went like, "Hey, we started fighting them, and it was definitely on our land, and uh, we won it. So let's go." And then after our assault kind of stalled, like just moving straight south, we were like, "Let's just sail to their capital." And invade. Yeah, it was and just a battle did. over borders. <laughs> and then we did. So that was fun. But, uh, we're going completely off topic, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, honestly, I could, <laughs> I could just, I could just record an entire video of just me just, just giving a really basic run over of just U.S. history. And actually, I've already done that, so I don't know why I just said that, actually. You, yeah, you, I've already you done that. That's already you did that. on this channel. Yeah. yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I don't need to do that. I've already done that. It's a 30-minute video that's on this channel. So. It's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of videos. <laughs> oh, yeah. About what There's, time? There is a massive series on that, is correct. Um, but let's move on. It, it seems we're done pissing about... Um, <laughs> pissing about talking about our history and why renaming things and uh defiling statues may or may not be a, such a good idea do we have any hey isaac i haven't heard from you in a while you have any opinions hello do you have any no. opinions or are you just an unfeeling uh, unemotional robot yes precisely uh, okay okay could you oh if you're gonna be the robot can you like put in some music in the command the bot chat Okay. <laughs> no, wait. What's, 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 the name, what's the name of the bot? Here, can we just rename her to the name? The, the dab. Oh, oh, yeah, it's currently the dab bot, but I I think I can rename it. I can. So okay, our music bot is is now named Isaac. If, if you ever <laughs> oh my god! To, if you ever Thanks. wanted to know. All right, that's pretty. That's pretty boneless. All right, so what is the most liberal news source that we can think of? Because uh, right now for me, I'm thinking... Where's like, California News? What's the name of the California News? No, nah, no, nah, we can go further than that. Because the, the first thing I can for... think of is the Huffington Swedish Post. News. Nah, <laughs> Sweet. Nah. No, it Swedish. has to be from America. We're discussing Probably America somewhere in here. Washington. No other countries Not DC, exist. But like... I don't know what you're talking about, Jeff. No other countries right. exist on this earth. It's only yeah. us. It's we're it's... just surrounded by water. Alaska's an island somewhere north of us. And so is Hawaii. There, it's a collection of islands. Uh, n- nobody else exists. It doesn't matter. Uh, whenever. <laughs> oh, when, also, that, Wyoming, oh my gosh, Wyoming, Wyoming's a questionable <laughs> state. 
Oh yeah, and like that that Mexico place I was talking about earlier that never happened. We were actually just fighting a war with the water, and we were just shooting at it until we could reclaim <laughs> land from it. <laughs> that that was it. That was all that happened there. We just happened uh, to call that sea story. in Mexico at the time. That's all that happened. <laughs> Funny story. So, uh, there's a TV show called The Orville, and there's a robot on there named Isaac, and uh, oh my he's God. really smart. <laughs> I'm not joking. Isaac can do everything. He's great. So, oh, I think named... I... <laughs> I, know what you're talk... I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, oh, there, there's a website called Right Wing News that has a list of the 50 most popular uh, liberal news sites. So, we're going to go to the very bottom. And okay, to the very bottom, uh, and see the worst liberal news sites. Uh, I'm I'm gonna put up two options. We can do feministing, or oh, Fire Dog Lake. Hmm. Let's yeah. do Fire Dog Lake. Is that sounds Dog interesting? Lake. All right, Fire that Dog Lake is. Hell. Let's take a look at this place. What? What the hell? That I've been pranked. I clicked on the link and it became shadowproof. Okay. What? Where's Fire Dog Lake? Fire Dog Lake? Question mark. Do they exist? Adobe, don't break up me. Been pranked. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck? The guy stopped the blog. He shut it down three years ago. Oh. Big depression. What a shame. <laughs> And now all of oh, all of the posts are now just archived on this this shadowproof site. I don't. We have a new member. It. All right, I guess our other option now is going to this feministing website if they exist. Feministing, feministing exists. That's definitely a word. Feministing. Yep. Let's take a look. Um, it's long. My emotion, Daru. Don't do this. Go Bless this. you. Oh, let's Don't see. Do, do you sneeze? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it up to two articles now. It's long past time to make child care central to the progressive agenda, or Scarlett Johansson embodies everything that's wrong with mainstream feminism. Oh, Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Clearly. Dude, right, did you know she was look. married to Ronald Reynolds? He was? Yeah. I, I had no that, idea man. until like a few weeks ago. Isn't isn't Ryan Reynolds currently married to uh, Blake Lively? Yeah, she's a queen. Yeah. But before that, <laughs> ah, yes. uh, he was married to Scarlett Johansson. Okay, there it is. So how? Let's let's l let me go through this article. So so before we start, before we start, how do you think, from from what you've seen, how do you think it's possible that Scarlett Johansson embodies everything wrong? With mainstream feminism. Uh, uh wait. <laughs> elaborate. I'll say yeah. There's a new per there's a new person in the call. I, there's I somebody here, Aaron. Hello. <laughs> I was I was like I was like. <laughs> I didn't realize you were here, you neck. Yeah, well, I have a tendency to just sneak in and uh. Yeah, very hmm. nice. Yes. Okay. Well, Didn't Isaac say that another person was We're going added. over. I think this is our this is our third article now. Scarlett mm -hmm. Johansson embodies everything that's wrong with mainstream feminism. How do you think this is possible? Before we go into the article's arguments. Gee, I don't know. She's not screaming. All men need to be uh, treated like pigs at the very bottom of the gutter. Uh, that wow. was wow. <laughs> Oh my I mean, gosh! I don't know if anybody said that personally, but <laughs> oh, I hear, I hear, I hear people. Say that. You, you've actually heard yeah, that. Say. I have actually heard that. That's yeah. actually no, the big. De that's actually the expressor depresso. Yeah. Uh, I, I can actually mm -hmm. go. Wow, I can literally go to Starbucks tomorrow at 5 a.m. and just get an espresso and be like, "That's my expressor depresso in physical form." <laughs> Because that I I can't believe anybody would actually say that. Wow, yep. that that just goes to show how much I play League of Legends and don't pay attention to politics. But let's let's go through this. I don't um, either. It just happens, you know. I walk into this. that. 
Um, See, I, I didn't want anything to do with it, and then I was just watching some videos on YouTube, and one thing led to another, and I was watching Ben Shapiro and all sorts of leftist <laughs> crazy <laughs> Oh yeah, so all of a sudden, so you were just you're just watching uh you're just watching It TV. went from instant karma videos to instant feminist karma videos to feminists and leftists being crazy to Ben Shapiro and now I am slightly politically active. <laughs> oh my goodness. Only slightly politically. Mean, Only slightly. Uh but mm -hmm. yo, there's crazies on both sides, man. I yeah, just no. I don't want to be anywhere. Because, like, the moment I say, well, you know what, there there does seem to be, from some observation, uh, if you take about, I don't know, possibly t ten minutes to think about society, you might be able to notice for a second that in various areas, women are either marginalized or not on equal standing as men, and then... You can take that position, and then somebody will be like, Ah, you're one of those bastards that say men should be pigs. And I'll be like, well, shit. And then I'll be like, well, I mean, women are pretty high up in society now. They've, they've got, they're doing some pretty cool shit, and they're doing some pretty cool things. And then a feminist will come up out of the woodworks and say, You're a bastard that would rather us be subservient and slaves than on equal standing. And, I'm, I, and, okay. I'll, and I can just sit here and say, well, okay. I'll just go play League I of mean, Legends. Like, I mean, There's some facts yeah. and from I'll Daddy Shapiro. Play League of Legends. <laughs> At least the toxicity in League of Legends is restricted to you're a faggot and you're a feeder. Word. That's essentially it. Or you're a feeder, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but but let's, I let's don't understand because, but like the definition of feminism is just being equal to man. So. I don't understand how some feminists proclaim that they could be like better than man and that men should be lower than them. But that's not, they shouldn't be defining themselves as a feminist. Well, welcome to 2018. Because that's not what feminism no is. Means equal. <laughs> welcome to 2018. The ADC role in League of Legends of no longer exists. Feminism is stupid in half the places and smart in the this other is half. But this see, is the they second, changed this is the fractured. definition of feminism just like they changed the definition of genders. I mean, like, bro, world is crazy, bro. <laughs> world is crazy. It is. I mean, like, I'm my only saying. solace is that there's a red wave. A red a wave. Red. What's a yeah. red wave? Uh, so all red right now. Red Senate, red House, red President. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't really <laughs> care. Oh, oh, and now a red scared. Supreme Court. I just remembered. Yeah. yeah. Sayo. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, well, you had to go that. You had to go there. Yeah, of course I did. You know me. But, that's like the okay, I need But like to, that's I the opposite to... of red. Like at least the United States red. That's the oh. opposite. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's like literally the furthest you could have gone. <laughs> you see, comrades, when you bleed, uh, I can actually see like, the, the colors era. of good community. I was gonna say, then, right uh... No, the, the, are you really gonna put this on your channel? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! No! Uh. Oh god! Yes. I like Why have you done this? Why have you done this? Is I muted it. Okay. I muted that so fast. Please. Right, cool. No more. Anyways, although Aaron, on on this podcast, I would like this to be a rather along the middle type thing. So if you do have there can no be no in between of communism and traitorism, comrade. No, if, if you, so if you do have any strong conservative opinions or any strong liberal opinions, please save it for a different podcast. Those are the words of the Western pigs. There is only communism. Comrade. <laughs> Although I do want to say this: um, the Scarlett Johansson article is pretty. Is weird. It's pretty, it, uh, it's essentially talking about, you know that rub and tug thing? Yes. Yeah, so, so, like, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, and don't follow, um, 
a lot of just social media yeah um so scarlett johansson uh re uh accepted a role to play a transgender person that was um who ran a string of massage parlors uh massage parlors uh in pittsburgh and so every everybody went insane and by everybody i mean about 20 people on twitter they went insane <laughs> yeah, and said you know true. what you can't play a trans role you're cisgender that's stupid which to some extent to some extent makes sense if you're going to have a transgender but... person in a movie you should cast a transgender person for that role that does make that's some true. sense i mean if you want yeah accuracy but if you want to have an accurate thing but also but you know there's no guarantee that you'll be able to find an actor that is trans um, and is a good actor okay yeah. they were okay i read from in the article and less than one percent of the speaking like the actor speaking population in hollywood is trans so it's really hard to find that yeah mm -hmm. as well as so this is a in in terms of societal equality this should be kind of the issue of number one. There aren't many, very many trans people. It's not like most people are born and say, "Fuck, I shouldn't have a dick." Damn it! <laughs> it's not like they just That's woke what up. What they say? And, they and they mean, went to Gaga. That's what they woke up and say. <laughs> well, yeah, oh yeah, Lord. yeah, but like, but um, and so it it's hard. And so it's hard for people to, it's hard for them to try to gain equality as well. Because it's, it's also a rather foreign concept to explain to people, to some, for some people that are coming from uh, different kinds of backgrounds and thinking, wait, what? I, I, this is, this is where, you know, that whole thing you said about having a strong that is political that opinion is about so, something. So that's where, like, I'm, like, like, I have to really hold back right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same. But yeah, all, yeah. All, all I'm going to say is that I understand that some people have a problem. Like, some people just aren't comfortable with who they are. And I get that. I'm also not, not in the sense of my sexuality, but, yes, I, in some aspects about myself, I'm not comfortable. I wish I could change it. But kind of can't, at least for my problems. <laughs> but and so you know what? It, We're gonna end this note before it devolves into a shouting match about the existence of different genders. Really? Uh, with people got problems, it's hard to deal with them, and it's hard to understand them too. And so let's move on from this. Okay. This is, this is dumb enough. I can't make I a like, about I it. I like the word let. It suggests as one together, like communism. We must you know, Dude, who invited no. this guy here? <laughs> uh, I invite myself, comrade. He invited himself in. <laughs> uh, <sighs> yeah. But if, if there is a string of any more extensive communism you might have to be kicked from the discord for the remainder of the podcast so please keep your communism to a low because this is an american podcast where we strongly support capitalism and the american way so if you whistle that for another five seconds you will be kicked <laughs> all right dirty um, memers yes i am a dirty memer thank you all right, now let's let's go to. Let's I like how we also completely just avoided the entire article. Oh, oh, that is right. Um, I mean, we kind of just talked about the main issue that it was about in general for a bit. Yeah. No need to read it out loud, you know. I just I... got bit by another mosquito. Oh my gosh! What? Right. Are room. you are you outside? What are you? No. <laughs> What you need to do is get one of those electric, like, swatter things. Just turn it on and start running around your room and, like, <laughs> waving it around. <laughs> just screaming. Oh <laughs> just God, bloody God. murder. Literally, if you open up the blinds and anybody looks through the window, you look like a maniac. But in reality, you just... Just scream bloody murder. Yeah. <laughs> I've gone, okay. like, tired, like, this is, this twice is, this in a Okay, this is a funny... 
This is a funny headline to begin with. New York man arrested for hitting his girlfriend with a Bible, police say. <laughs> Opinions that... before I re start reading. I can, like, imagine him slapping her and just going, the power of Jesus compels you. <laughs> oh, God. God. The, article, the article itself is small, but also golden. Like, you know, the, whoever wrote this, Ben Foyer heard, apparently. Oh, boy. Um, from the from the New York Post, they were ready for this for writing. Give up the sauce, place. chief. Let, let me just read it. So a Bronx man was arrested for bashing his girlfriend with a Bible on Sunday. Police told the Post. On uh, Sunday too. Daniel Damn. Lepage, thirty-six, no. got into an argument with his GF at his Parkside apartment on Bronx Park East. He began to punch the forty-one-year-old woman, then grabbed the good book and smacked her in the head and shoulder with it. <laughs> And the woman was, well, the woman called 911 and told police, I don't know how this happens, like, she called 911 and told police she suffered significant pain on her head and shoulder after the beating, which makes sense, and he was arrested on the scene. God. So, like, somehow the woman still called 911, and the guy was still at the apartment. To be arrested for <laughs> felony assault. I'm just amazed that he chose the Bible out of all things. And and I love this reporter. He saw his opportunity and took it. He was like, okay, grabbed. What goes with grabbed? Uh, and, and it's the Bible, so the good book. We got it. He <laughs> grabbed the good book. Yeah. We're, we're oh, my easy. goodness. Easy. Easy, easy money. money. <laughs> That's how you use the word of God. <laughs> That's how you use the word of God. You use yeah. the word of God yeah. to end all arguments. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, no, no, no. It's just like a child, like, it's like having an argument with their friend. And they're like, no. He pulls I... out a Bible and like, what do you want to reach at me? <laughs> no, 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 no. Here, let me, let me, let me, let me pull out the situation. So like, like a mother just goes to her son and says, okay, Billy. Now then, if you ever get into an argument, just remember that the word of God is the best way to resolve any argument. Okay, <laughs> oh, Billy? God. Okay, Mom. Gets so, cold. No, no, no. And then goes to school, and he's like, sitting on the playground with his buddy. We'll call him John. And then John, John's like, you know what? I really, I really like McDonald's. And Billy's like, no, Whataburger is the best restaurant. Oh, they get into a fight about it. And then he's like, and then B little Billy's mind thinks back and it's like, remember, Billy, the word of God is the best way to resolve any arguments. And he's like, ah, I have a Bible on me. <laughs> Takes he's like, those like mini Bibles. Him with it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> you gotta do what like, you gotta what, do. What, what are you beating me with? It's like, my mom said the word of God was the best way to resolve an argument. <laughs> so here it goes. <laughs> oh god! And it's like it's like those mini like Nook Bibles. Oh that my god! You, that you you wear like as like a necklace or something. Oh my god! <laughs> it's just like not even substantial. Uh, oh, uh, just a disclaimer: the mostly news-free network does not support beating your friends with the word of God. <laughs> That's a really the good, good book, disclaimer. the King's James Bible. Without good reason. Without good reason. Uh, without good reason. <laughs> the it, book of God should only be used to be read and preached upon. Uh, so please don't. And and I, I, I feel like I always forget to say this at the beginning, and I end up saying it near the end. Uh, none of this should be taken seriously. Not a single word spoken on this podcast should be taken seriously by anybody. Especially yeah, with my communism. Especially communism. Especially yeah. communism. And, and, uh, and, and like any accidental strong-sided outbursts. Because in the end, we're a bunch of idiots talking about news. Oh, bunga. And um, it really doesn't matter. So. I totally messed up the sketch. <laughs> it, really just say. it really doesn't matter in the end. We're all just human beings living lives. Everybody has a reason for their point of view. So please, please try to understand people. And 
and don't take don't take their words out of context and politely disagree because being a dick about everything is just not a way to go and now let's proceed to talk about people being dicks about things um or just stupid hang on i got something to show you i think y'all might cringe uh if i can find it oh no Mm, it's only two seconds. It's fine. Oh, there it is. <laughs> what is it? I'm sure you've seen it before, no. perhaps somewhere. What the heck? It's a video. Mm. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, my god. oh my god. Okay, uh, okay, let me. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna. The I'm amount gonna... of pain. Yep. I just felt. It's, it's just a video of a guy getting getting his car oh, slammed against the tree branch. You still remember it's what happened to Jonah? Wait. The amount of pain oh, I oh just my God. felt <laughs> All right, let's, in that let's very it second. I guess who's glad okay, to can anybody not think that? of? Can anybody think of a super alt-right news site that nobody should ever take seriously? Like, oh. super alt-right. See, I don't um, know any news networks. I don't. Okay. Yeah, I don't... Alt-right uh, blog. Google, tell me now. I'm feeling lucky. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I know a very far alt-right uh, piece of literature. It was called Mein Kampf. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, time to stop. It's time Bro. to stop. It's time to stop! It's time to stop! No. It's time to stop! Uh, update on the mosquito bite. I could see the mosquito flying around my room, but I haven't killed it yet. Kill it then. What you doing? It, it's, I can't see it. What do you it mean? Bro. I hear it, though. I hear it sometimes. Bro, what you gotta do is you, you just cry very still and then watch it land on you and let it bite you then you just clench up like all heck and I actually slap. just did that and I'm holding its dead body in my fingers good I shouldn't Damn. say that out loud <laughs> but I'm proud um, of you. killed it uh <laughs> come on man us Asians do this all the time look I'm yeah that's just a normal I meal I don't have my glasses on Oi, excuse you <laughs> so let's pull up a Huffington Post article I don't know what about you, but mosquitoes are like, they're, they're not even worthy to be eaten. They don't deserve it. Yeah, no, no, you're right, you're right. Let's see. Let's take a look. That's way too bright ones. Is that bad? <clears throat> okay. Maybe we can talk about this. Hold up. No, no, no. I'm pulling up the articles here, buddy. Oh no, it's not even an article, it's just a picture, but we can t just talk about it. Because I'm sure know. you guys might have some opinions. I don't know. Put it put it in the general chat and let's take and let's take a look, see. Uh, how <laughs> Does someone not know how to Discord? How willing are y'all to try new things? Because this is certainly not something I would want to do. Then why did you send it? Right. Wait a s- what the- Mayonnaise oh, no. is the most controversial ice cream flavor. Okay, I've seen <laughs> this because I scroll through Instagram for 15 oh, hours a day. Mayonnaise uh, ice cream- I don't I like it. I can't believe this. Is this real? This is real, and there are news articles about it, which means we can officially talk about it. And- <laughs> And I'm gonna say, the Washington Post headline for this is, um, No. The Washington... Hold up, I need to turn off my ad blocker so that it'll stop being annoying. Okay. Stop being a meme. Okay. So the headline is, Yes, Hellman's has frozen over. Mayonnaise ice cream is here. Mayonnaise ice cream. Hellman's uh, has frozen over. I don't like the taste of mayonnaise. It doesn't look appealing. I actually like I'm, okay, I'm a mayonnaise kind of person, and this is making me cringe, because... Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Okay, then. 
But do you just eat it plain, or like, what do you eat it with? You just, you just eat it. A hot dog. <laughs> See, I, I've never understood people who dip their fries you know in what? mayonnaise. We need, to, we need to make this an ongoing list of things that are just 2018. So far, we have, um, what is it? What do we have on the list of 2018 things that are strange or dying? Uh, we have divisive politics, which is the main, which is the main thing of this podcast of trying to avoid. Uh, we have ADCs in League of Legends have died. Why do you keep this? Is the like fifth time you brought that up in this? No, podcast. this is actually because it's I actually it's tragic. Time. I think this is the fourth time that I brought it up, but it's absolutely tragic. I'm gonna keep this list going. I'm gonna I'm gonna make things thing, Harold things Harold the Alien that have died in 2018. Can we include things that should? No, not things that should that have. Died. Dang. Because I was going to say, Harold the Avian needs to. I don't Whoa. know what that is. Hodor? I don't want to know. Uh, so Hodor? Let's see. Um, the very first thing that has died um, that we can that, that we actually kind of make fun of is common sense. <laughs> the, the argument can be made that it, has, it died in an earlier time, but I feel like it... it I feel like there is a strong argument for its more complete death in the year 2018. Well, I feel like... No, 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 no. I feel like it goes away and then comes back. Yeah, but it, goes it, away. Has a re it has rebirths, but it is currently dead. It's a dead corpse that is beat up on every single day by alt groups on both sides, as well as many people on the internet, politicians. So you, cause you, you remember that renaissance that we had? Oh yes. You remember that? That's that was like the rebirth of it. Common That's sense. Oh yes. So we currently have lost all common sense. We need another Renaissance. <laughs> uh, we need another revolution. We need another Black Plague. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so let's let's we let's hop go back on. over to the mayonnaise ice cream. Uh, I was. Going <laughs> I feel like I'm going from mayonnaise ice cream to the Black Death. <laughs> so who would try it? Any of y'all? I would just to say I tried it. I yeah, I would, I would try it out of pure curiosity. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So I, kinda, I, I tried like I think it was like they've also juice, made soda. they've also made Monster Energy drink uh uh ice cream and Strongbow cider ice cream. Dude, you're not even ready. <laughs> Scroll to the last one. They have breast milk ice they cream. Do. <laughs> it's breast milk ice cream from a different company. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess what it's called. The Lictators. <gasps> <laughs> Guarantee that one, like, this one junkie's gonna sneak past through, um, to the, the health, for those the health background checks and just, like, everybody who posted, I posted an article to both the breast milk ice cream and the mayonnaise ice cream. I, I ain't looking at it. That, that's, no. It's not bad. It's no. just, I'm just confused. No. <laughs> It, no. it, it's so far it's weird. Okay, it's so far weird. It was. It was. It, it. It's made from donated milk, screened in accordance to hospital standards, blended with Madagascan vanilla. Because when you're making a pro a quality product such as this, you need to have you know some top quality vanilla, and everybody knows that Madagascar Yay. is known for its. For its world-renowned vanilla flavorings. I don't. I didn't, I didn't even know they had vanilla over there. <laughs> to be entirely honest. Yeah. Okay, but breast milk isn't bad. I, I don't know. It's, okay. it's just... It's, it's, it's just, weird to think about. What do you have against? Yeah. I don't have anything huh? against like eating, uh -huh. eating breast milk ice cream. It's just kind of weird to think about. But like, okay, and then it's like, so know, we're talking about fake news. Why does it matter? <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Like, I mean, come on, look. I mean, if we have breast milk ice cream, why haven't we've got taken it a step further? We need placenta ice cream now. No. <laughs> we need this now. I mean, people eat people eat placenta already from like from like cows. Look, and yeah, but that's like that's the mothers who eat it. That's their Stop. own choice. Stop this. Yeah. Stop this. No, no. Look, <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh my God. No. We have to keep going. We no, we stop. don't actually. We can't stop. <laughs> We can, though. No, we can't. We, we can, can, and we will. 
We have to keep going. Okay, let's look up some more news. Um, I wonder if there's a meme news site. Meme. Oh, most of, it's called 4chan. Probably. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's true, but um, that's news. a questionable source. Just because it's questionable doesn't mean it's reliable or it's not reliable. Uh, I mean, this is the mostly news-free podcast. We thrive off of non-reliable news. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, fake news sites to be aware what? of this 2018. <laughs> we have to find... We, okay, memebuster.com.net. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I'm going there. Okay, so first off, here's the list of fake news sites. And from now on, we're honestly just going to pull all of our news from these fake news sites. So that we have... So that we have no sense of legitimacy whatsoever. Okay. <laughs> um, let's take a look. OKD2.com. That's just a weird name. That seems dumb. We need something more popping. I broke my tablet. Nice job. <laughs> Dude, nice. Like, just get that or something. Nice. You, you, at the beginning of this podcast, you said it's finally working again. And then now, and now nearing the end, it's just broken now. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. It's been um, less than an hour. <laughs> okay, we're gonna. Deadma.com is apparently a fake news site. Uh, the account has been suspended on that fake news site, so we will keep on looking. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just got a gift from this website. I'm leaving. It's fine. <sighs> okay. I did get a pop up that said, "I want truth, I want lies, and I'm ready." So, <laughs> okay. politics. Um, uh, half, uh, half of this is not in English, or at least one of these is not in English. Um, others are in English. I can't. Look, I can't go to a website that doesn't use the only language known to man, and that is English. I I just can't. These these organizations of letters, it's just not cutting it for me. So, it seems that we will have to go to an actual slightly legitimate news site in order to continue this this strange meme of a podcast. God. Okay. Let's see if I can fix my tablet again. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at this one. An extraordinarily expensive way to fight ISIS. So what okay. do we think what do we think it is? What do we think it is? Arm the innocent so they can actually fend for themselves and not just be meat shields that prevent us from actually going in and doing anything. Okay. Wow, someone has an opinion. <laughs> Wow! Uh, Look at that. It's 2018. I actually have an opinion still, and I'm not brainwashed. I never said we were brainwashed. It's just that the entire point of this podcast is to meme around and not give a fuck. So, well, that's exactly what I said. If I was in public, I would give a crap about what I said because I know people are probably going to jump on me. But on here, it's fine. <laughs> well, I mean, the whole point is to not have an opinion on this podcast. We're just kind of shitting on everything. Uh, so what's the most expensive way? What is the most expensive way you can think of to fight ISIS? Probably nukes. Nukes. But is that... No, like, no, but that's I'm just one bomb and you're done. Arm you can find like, more swords. expensive ways. For like, instance, diamond sword. Well, I mean, you nuke the area, you can't get the oil from the area. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm thinking, what I'm thinking... I'm I got thinking you, fam. Massive sofa artillery. Otherwise known as MSA, Massive Sofa Artillery. But why sofa? Why not sofas is the question here. It's the biggest kind of but furniture what, that what, what, is, what if we people. made? What, what if, we if do? you loaded up a giant ice making machine, but make it create giant ice cubes, right? No, and basically no, that's make impractical. it hail. You have to power that. No, Massive no, no, Sofa no. Artillery TM will let you launch sofas at the enemy. And crush them beneath the massive weight of sofas. And eventually, when you launch enough sofas, they literally can't leave without explosives. 
because of the mass amount of sofas that you've launched at their base or their position. See, if we're going to be launching absurd things, why don't we just like why don't no, no, why don't we launch fifty percent of the Americans that are heavy enough to do some damage? We need to launch Sigma. Whoa, someone speaking. Whoa, the truth. whoa, no, no, no! It's expensive to la launch <laughs> obese people. Okay, I know. That, well, you wanted the most expensive way. Yeah, not only do we no, have to no, pay their no. families' compensation, but <laughs> no, no, but it's not expensive enough. Okay. Because, like, even though we'd have to pay them and we'd have to pay their families, that's just not expensive enough. Because in the end, they're the ones wasting money to get fat. We're not funding that, which means we, which means we're not spending enough money. Now that no, we, it could be, it could be like the Spartan program, you know? Oh like my we, god! <laughs> we kid, we kidnap them when they're like seven years old, five years old. Okay. <laughs> we, we make them obese and then we launch them. It's, but it's just not heavy enough. You, it, 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 it truly isn't. Fam, I got you. You literally just buy poorly made, giant, like, Chinese-made um, furniture. And so no, when it comes This has down. to be American. I don't think you understand. This has to be the most expensive American way to destroy things. And, so, and we also have to fund capitalism at the same time. That that is why I advocate the the MSA or the massive sofa artillery, okay? Hmm. You, okay, you just, talking you about provide, sofas. You provide jobs. You provide jobs to the sofa factories. No, nope. someone's getting more. You provide behind. jobs to the sofa factories, <laughs> and so you provide jobs for more Americans, lowering the unemployment rate. Uh, you have to fund getting all the materials together. You get to support farmers like getting cotton and shit. And then you just have, and you just spend as much money as possible, like clothing the people that work at the sofa factories, getting them food, like funding the food, just to fund the creation of massive sofa artillery. Who has a guitar? Who do you think? Boy, you're on your, oh, you're on your second straw, Aaron. <laughs> I'm oh, I know I am. I, I actually fixed my tablet again. Yay. Nice. I'm about to kick you. What's wrong with it? Uh, it, it just crashes often. Yeah. I have to like, I have okay, to figure out why. Well, the, the extraordinarily expensive way to fight ISIS is not, is not at the MSA or massively, uh, the massive silver artillery. It is the B2 stealth bomber. That, you know what, that makes sense. And so hmm. essentially what we've used is, um, essentially it's a subsonic flying yep. thing that. Isn't kind of it like just of, barely subsonic? I, I'm not sure. I don't care. For all I care, it could be supersonic, and it would accomplish the same purpose as being an expensive thing that we fly over people to drop massive explosions. Nukes. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know we had GPS-guided bombs. Dude, that's... Yeah, uh, you didn't know that was a thing? No, I've been playing... Don't you know what I The only oh bombs God. that I know about are fucking Corky's special pack package, okay? <laughs> Do you not know what an IBSM is? I think it's, it's IBSM or IBM. IBMs. It's IBM. Or ICBMs. Inter 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 well, ICBM, Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Those are GPS guided. So let's take a look. I mean, like... And we're essentially just launching these super-duper expensive stealth wings and dropping bombs on a bunch of people with AK-47s. I mean, I feel like we have the military advantage. I don't know. Maybe these guys have really sick-ass aims. They've been playing CSGO for years and years. <laughs> They've been playing CSGO since launch, okay? ISIS is the top... They have the top-tier competitive CSGO esports teams in the world. They're just disguised as actual esports teams and that's why they have perfected their AK-47 aim. They don't even need ops anymore. They just live off of the AK-47 and they're just able to just like predict the the subsonic fighter jet flying around. How did, and they just how does your mind instantly. how does your mind go to these places? Like I I, I actually well, you know what I understand because that entire the entire time we were talking about mattresses, I, the only thing I was thinking about is how mattress firm is a complete front, and that <laughs> totally drugs sold there. Or okay, like, so you know what? There. I think we have gone pretty far in. It's been an hour and five minutes. 
So I'm Ben. Um, there's there was Gabby here. She just kind of passed out. Uh, there's Aaron, Jeff, and also Isaac. Don't take Hello. anything seriously. Understand people's perspectives and try to have some empathy. Good night. Have a nice night.